So further to my Comrades 2023 route update that I put up yesterday, I have printed out a couple of maps from my run yesterday and I'll show you the uh, route that we'll be taking out of Maritzburg and just have a little bit of news for you on the halfway point as well. So here is the GPS track of the beginning of my run yesterday at Route Tester, done on the 1st of May. Um, they had, the Comrades Marathon Association had been out measuring, and, uh, measuring the race route on the 30th of April, which was the previous day, and it became pretty obvious uh, what route we take out of Maritzburg while we were running, because there were route measurement markings on this section of the route that we ran, which means that we are not going this way out of Maritzburg like we have done in the last few years. So first of all, let's start up here in Maritzburg, started outside the city hall, and we run down. And then yesterday what we did is we followed this orange line. So we went uh, that way there, and then onto the Comrade route. This is Washington Road, where my finger is now. And then we carried on up towards the back of Polly Shorts. Uh, the reason we did that is it's a little bit safer, smaller roads with no road closure. This pink route, so coming down through Marisburg, up past the shopping centre, and then out onto the freeway, and then off at the Market Road turnoff, and then along there, that's the route that we have taken, uh, I'm going to call that the Moses Mabida course. So since the finish moved to Moses Mabida, they tried, with the extra distance at the end, they tried to cut a bit of distance off coming out of Maritzburg, and that was kind of the, the shorter route out of Maritzburg. Just for those of you who've only run that route, that route, or this part of the route here, it's just a very, very steady climb um, with, it's pretty easy running, you know, there's not much kind of change in gradient, you don't go up and down, it's just a very, very steady, nice, easy climb. Uh, and the route that we are taking this year in 2023 will be different uh, compared to that. The route that we will be taking is come down through Maritzburg, then just after you cross the Doozy River where the um, petrol station is, we are going to turn right into Alexandra Road, uh, run up the hill past Girls High, and then we are going to turn left into Ritchie Road, which old comrades runners will be very familiar with then that changes to Washington Road. Now how I know that we are definitely taking this route out of Maritzburg is because of the route measurement markings that were present on this part of the route. And yeah, it was pretty obvious they were freshly painted. You know, when you run a route many times over a few years, you, learn, you, you sort of see the markings on the route and they were definitely very freshly painted, brand new markings telling us exactly how far we had to go to Durban going along this way. And you can tell from the distance to go uh, what route we're also going to take in Durban. So for those not familiar, this is a, a, a long steady climb which then flattens out towards the top here. And then along this part of the route, this, this is a, quite a big downhill. And then there are some, there, and then it undulates for this part of the route. So it is a little bit tougher. Um, and you're going to need to sort of just be a little bit more conservative, I guess, as you leave Maritzburg. The, well, assuming there isn't load shedding at the start of Comrades, though, uh, there should be some better street lights because the, the, particularly this part of the route um, in the last few years has been very dark and they've tried to light it artificially as a result. But we should get some better street lights along that uh, route that is marked with green. Um, yeah, but as I said, it will be a little bit more up and down, a little bit more elevation gain and loss, and a little bit extra distance to the last few years if you have run to Moses Mabida. Then that'll obviously change the race distance a little bit. Um, you know, we've, we're not running all the way to Moses Mabida. We're going to stop at Kingsmead. So as you're running into town, it, uh, from the distance markings, I would say we're running in, into town the same way that we have run into town the last few years. So kind of a, a more direct route into town and then turn left. And then when you run to Kingsmead, you're going to turn right. You're going to run in the gate on the Hilton Hotel side of Kingsmead um, and then run onto the field next to Castle Corner, if you know where that is. And then you're going to run an anti-clockwise loop around the field like we've always done in the old days. Uh, every time that uh, I have ever been to a finish at Kingsmead, which was all through my childhood, and I did uh, finish a few there, uh, in the first few years that I ran. Um, yeah, the finish is going to be exactly the same. It will cut off about two and a half kilometers 
um, on the finish and that will change where halfway is. So on the Moses Mabida route, halfway was always at around about Arthur's seat comrades wall area. But with going, you know, changing the route, um, we will go through halfway almost exactly in Drummond. So you'll be, you'll be able to pretty much use Drummond as your halfway time marker. Uh, if you worry about time splits and things like that. And then it will also make the race distance almost exactly 88 kilometers. It'll be, I'm pretty sure the official distance when they publicize it will be just over 88 kilometers. So it will be one of the shortest downruns in certainly that I can remember. Um, we've always, the, the downrun was always 89.9 uh, 89 kilometers and we're going to be down to doing just over 88. Um, the reasons for the reduction in distance is there have been some roadworks along the route. Um, most of those are not that different from the last years. So. At Lion Park, we kind of the road has straightened out a little bit, and then at uh, and I'm sure they'll it was a little bit stony and quite dirty there. Uh, I've run there twice in the last few weeks, but I'm sure they will sweep the route clean there. Um, but there is some road construction and it is a bit a little bit narrow. There's lots of barriers and things like that. But I'm sure for the runners, it won't make a difference. And then at Umlas Road. Last year, and if you ran Comrades in three days, we were able to actually pretty much run straight uh, through the intersection at, at Omlas Road where the, where the Thornville Junction Road comes in. But we're now having to run a little bit of a loop off to the right, more where the road used to, has always been and if we, um, prior to them doing all the construction. So we're going to drift off a little bit to the right and then run back towards the intersection and then turn right uh, to go down towards Van's Garage and then up onto the route and run towards Camperdown. Um, but yeah, the, the race distance is going to come out at, I'd say about 88.2, 88.3 kilometers. I would estimate that that would be a very close estimation. And halfway, almost exactly in Drummond. And if you're running for a time barrier or if anybody's trying to break the race record this year, it is a really good year to have a go at that. Because um, depending on how fast you run, you're going to have up to 20 minutes less running to get to the finish compared to the most Mabida finish. So, you know, for guys heading for the silver, well, silver it won't be 20 minutes, but certainly for uh, anything from Bill Rowan, 10 hours, 11 hours and 12 hours, it's going to be at least 20 minutes uh, off your running time. Uh, maybe even a bit more for the 12 hour runners and should be a little easier to get in under those cutoffs. So hopefully that's some good news for all of you.